All right, I do 7.9C. A drawing of a sailboat was made using a rectangle and a right triangles as shown. What is the area of the drawing of the sailboat in square centimeters? So the first thing we need to do is we need to use our reference materials. Let's look for the area of a circle or better yet the area of a triangle, which is one half base times height. And then we need the area of a rectangle, which is base times height. All right. So let's look back here. So this triangle has a base of two plus three, which is five. And then the height is six. So we have the area of a triangle is one half base times height. If the base is five centimeters and the height is six centimeters, that's gonna be 30 multiplied by one half or divided by two equals 15, right? So one half multiplied by five over six equals 15, right? Now we have to multiply this. Um, no, 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 now we're done actually, it's 15. So the area of this triangle is 15. Now let's find the area of this rectangle, which would be 2.5 multiplied by 12 all right so let's multiply this out let's go up here where we have a little bit of space so 12 multiplied by 2.5 5 times 2 is 10 carry the 1 5 times 1 is 5 plus 1 is 6 put a 0 in the ones place 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 1 is 2 we're going to add these up 0 that's going to be 3 all right and we have one des one position to the left to the de decimal place, or that's right, the decimal place. We're gonna move the decimal value over once to the left. We get 30. So the area here is 30 centimeters squared. And this area here is 15 centimeters squared. We're gonna add these up, 15 plus 30. So 30 plus 15 is 45 centimeters squared, all right? So it's going to be positive and then four, five, zero, zero. I'll bubble in the zeros. I bubble in the four and the five. All right. So what is the area of the sailboat? Drawing of a sailboat. Area is a key word. We underline the question. Labeled. So area sailboat in square centimeters so we put in centimeters squared right triangle all right we evaluated and we solved all right so let me know if you have any questions we'll do more problems like this so i'll get extra practice thank you for watching